Today I have an Asetek Invicta wheelbase coming in at 27 newton meters and we're gonna test it versus the La Prima wheelbase at 12 newton meters. Will I be able to tell the difference? Let's find out. We will start our test here at Charlotte Roval in the Mazda MX-5. On screen are my race hub software settings. I run really high force feedback for the Mazda. Here's my iRacing settings for the force feedback. So here we go. Charlotte's perfect for this test. It's got sustained corners and it's got a lot of curb strikes. So let's do a lap and take a look. Bottom left hand side of your screen. We got that force feedback meter. Now the Invicta, man, it's got a lot of power. So we're gonna see that green bar not get too high. Uh, we're looking south of 50% most of the time, even here with a really sustained corner. A lot of forces coming through the wheel. You gotta hold on tight. But we will see what it does on the curb strikes. What's great about having this much overhead is that with any strikes, with any big spikes, you're gonna feel it. You feel that big dynamic range. So you feel even the small details, the really fine uh, bumps, and then the big, big spikes as well is what you feel. So here up on the oval, we're coming up to a real wild chicane. So we're gonna see how much forces are gonna be put through the wheel when we nail this corner this is the proper racing line, don't worry. Here we go, boom, right over the curb. We see that actually get into the orange and red on the Invicta rim. You can tell there's a lot of force being put through the wheel. Even here on the banking, we can see at 20, 30%. A lot of bumping around here. Another big curb strike coming up. Let's see how the Invicta handles it. Boom. So we're basically feeling all of that. Let's switch it up. Let's take the Invicta off. That's the uh, front mount from Ace Attack. Go ahead and put the La Prima wheelbase on. Looking good. So here we go. Same car, same track here. My race hub settings, same deal. Now we got 12 Newton meters to work with. Here's my eye racing settings. Set it up just as how I did with the Invicta. Same forces. So we're gonna see what we get. And right off the bat, we can see the force feedback meter. Much more green with the La Prima than it was with the Invicta. Here comes a curb strike right away. Quite a bit of red through there. Now once that goes into the orange and it goes into the red, uh, that basically means that the computer is giving you way too much force than what the uh, wheelbase can handle, so you don't really feel it. You know, you don't get an extra spike when the when the wheel's already giving you all that torque. It can't give you any more. So even through that double right-hander, we can see we even peeked into the orange a little bit. Still feeling, you know, basically everything. We're just not getting those high-range spikes from the curb hits but we're still feeling the nice detail and we're still feeling a lot of force through the wheel. In through here, a big high torque section. Back onto the oval. And we can see we're riding right around 50% there, coming up to a huge curb strike. Let's see how the La Prima handles it. Boom! So we're a lot of red there, so the wheelbase just kind of gets a little muted. And he's crashing, folks. So you're still getting a wide range of force feedback coming through the wheel. Even the fine, small bumps and a lot of the bigger hits you're still feeling. It's just that those major spikes is what's missing and the wheel kind of goes mute. So who did it better? The Invicta or the La Prima? Well, guys, listen. The Invicta, there's not much that can beat it. It's got everything. It's got the overhead. It's got the dynamic range. It really is one of the best wheelbases around. But the La Prima, I'm telling you, it surprised me. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it's got all the feeling through the wheel that you need. You really can't go wrong with either one of them. It really depends on how much of a nerd you actually are. 
So check it out, guys. If you are interested in any of this, I do have an affiliate link. But I did have two bases, so I wanted to test them, compare them, show you guys my results. And there you have it.